Alright guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can react pretty much any effect to your audio inside of DaVinci Resolve. I will be using the Suckless Audio plugin which you can find inside of Reactor. If you don't know about Reactor or if you don't know how to install Reactor, you can watch my previous video where I show you how you can install Reactor inside of DaVinci Resolve. So once you install Reactor and the Suckless Audio plugin, what you have to do is uh, prepare your audio file. So I'm going to be using this audio over here and I'm going to just bring it into the timeline. Um, so now what you want to do is you want to extract the uh, drums or the bass from the audio file over here. So I'll be using this website over here. And as you can see, I have loaded the same uh, audio file over here and it, it just uh, extracts your audio into different tracks such as vocals, drums, bass, other and there is also metronome option over here. So if your audio has drums, go ahead and select drums. If your audio has bass, go ahead and select bass. It really depends on what instrument that you want the audio modifier to work on. So in my case, I'll be using drums. I'll be telling Suckless Audio Modifier to use this uh, waveform over here to animate the audio. We have to export this file. So um, you can, to do this, you can actually, let me just give you a real quick tutorial on this website. You just go to this uh, website and here you just upload a new uh, file. Click on continue to upload and just pick the same file that you want to use, the same audio double click on it go click on next and just select the very first option uh, click on submit and it will just uh, prepare your file over here and once it does that you'll see a new um, option over here so i'm going to go to the file over here which is the same file over here and it just exports or splits your audio into different tracks over here so we'll be using drums over here all you have to do is click on export and then from here you have to make sure you select mp3 since we are on the free plan we can only use mp3 or m4a we'll be using mp3 and we will select the drums track over here so go ahead and click on that and it will begin downloading your file i've already downloaded mine so i'm not going to download that again and that file is uh, it's it's going to be in an mp3 format okay so now we want to convert this mp3 file into dot wave file you can do that using audacity Currently, I am recording it, so I cannot uh, convert this MP3 file into WAV file over here. But all you have to do is go to Audacity, click on File, and click on Import, and import your audio file. And once you will see the WAV from over here, then all you have to do is click on File, go to Export, and export it as a WAV file. So now I'm going to just go ahead into Fusion, and I can just um, use anything to animate. So I can just let me just find a video real quick. All right, so I'll be using this video here. It's a VJ loop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this from here and I'm going to drag in a fusion composition. And let's just uh, stretch it out the same length of our audio and let's go to the fusion page. And the first thing we will do is uh, bring in this video and just connect it to the media out. And in media in one, we will click on loop. So it will just loop out for the entire length of our clip. And yeah, in between, you can go ahead and add any effect in here. So let's just uh, hit shift spacebar and type in any effect that you want. So maybe you want to do glow. So type in glow and click on add. All right. So then you can change the glow amount the glow size and all that stuff over here you need to choose what property that you want to animate so i'm going to animate the blend value over here so right click on blend and click on modify width and then go to modifiers and click on audio wave file and before this option was right inside this drop down but now it has moved to this modifiers over here audio wav click on that and also the reactor UI, it's now in the workspace panel over here. Go to scripts, reactor, and open reactor. Before it was, I believe, in the fusion panel over here. But anyways, we'll just go to the modifiers over here and we just browse for the file that we exported from the from Audacity over here. 
it should be in a wav format so just double click on that and i uh, think that should be it go to the edit page and you can see it working right over here so you can see right at the beginning we don't have any glow animating uh, over here and that's because there is no drums kicking in at this point and it only happens maybe from this point over here so let's just uh, listen to the audio and the video let's watch the video as well still the drums are not kicking in so let's just continue playing this So they go at this point, the drums start kicking in and the glow starts animating. And that looks pretty cool. So if you go to the fusion page, if you want to have a more intense looking glow, you can just play around with the um, amplitude scale. You can increase the glow amount using this slide over here. Let's go back and Uh, looks pretty cool um so yeah that is pretty much it you can go to the fusion page and add as many effects in between as you want so insert tool and uh, let's do something like um yeah let's do brightness and contrast right yeah let's do on saturation okay so right click on saturation click on uh, you can either go to connect to and use the same audio modifier that we used in the glow or you can go to modify with and create a new modifier for this. So then go to modifiers and uh, load the same file. And there you have it. So you can go back and uh, you should see the effect over here. That ah, looks pretty sick. So yeah, that is pretty much it. That's how you can create a audio driven animation using the Suckless Audio plugin. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.